Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here and continuing our Xbox One X coverage. We're taking a look at Ark, Survival Evolved and the man who has done all the work, David Beerton. Hey Rich. How's it all going? Yeah, good thanks. So, Ark Survival Evolved. I played this before it had its Xbox One X patch, so the back compat out of the box stuff was kicking in, and well, it forced VSync, base Xbox One feature set. It was, let's just say, highly unpleasant, super jerky, and borderline unplayable. So, anything must be an upgrade over that. So, what do you got? Okay, so, well, the good news is the final Xbox One X specific patch gives us a much more enhanced or better experience than the base Xbox One version. So if you remember, that one ran with an uncapped frame rate near constant tearing and quite a low resolution below uh, 1080p. Now we get kind of uh, different configurations. So there's options to choose between sort of performance or sort of enhanced graphical quality. Okay, and we can have various VSync options similar to the PlayStation 4 Pro version, right? Yes, right. So basically the base Xbox One version doesn't feature any selectable options, but now the X specific patch gives us the same options that's on Pro. So we get a detailed graphics checkbox, and then there's the VSync options where you can have VSync off, adaptive vsync and then lastly there's a vsync on option which is basically double buffered right okay now i dimly recall that we had these options on the pro and adaptive was the way to go and the others were again deeply unpleasant same thing in effect here yeah i think so the best way i found to play it for the most consistency is probably the adaptive option it's the one that certainly gets you closest to sort of 30 fps of, uh, the least issues okay right so we've got a six teraflop gpu the fastest console cpu this game has never been much of a performer does it actually work okay now i guess this has always been something of an unoptimized title regardless of which format you're playing on and even on xbox one x if you're going to go in expecting you know locked 30 frames per second smooth performance uh, you're still not going to get that. There's quite a lot of screen tearing and sort of performance issues and hitches. Okay, well, we'll concentrate on that in a bit, but the showcase improvement this time around is the detail mode, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so can you run us through the improvements that you get exclusive to Xbox One X here? Okay, so unlike on a PS4 Pro, which just gave you a resolution boost in detail mode, uh, on Xbox One X you get boost to pixel count along with upgraded feature set, so in terms of the resolution, uh, dynamic resolution up to 1440p, but I found that it often locks to around 1080p okay. uh, during general gameplay. Right, okay, because the developers went on the Xbox Wire and said 1440p for the detail mode, but we're noticing that it's dynamic, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Right, okay, but they do also mention a range of particular upgrades to visual quality, and all of those definitely in place, right? Yeah, definitely in place, okay. and it's a considerable boost when you switch between normal and detail modes, uh, it immediately hits you in the face it's just so much clearer a lot more detailed okay so what do we got okay so the thing that stands out the most i think is kind of the upgrade in terms of texture quality and level of detail so uh, you get high quality assets both up close and at a distance particularly with regards to streaming you're looking at high quality artwork a lot more often and it just adds a lot more detail to the scene on top of that, you've got things like the draw distance being drawn further out, so things like rocks, trees, just the scenery is a lot more sort of densely populated in detail mode. Okay, so on the Xbox Wire post from the developer, they're talking about additional features like volumetric clouds, dynamic weather systems and atmospheric effects. What's your take on all of that? Okay, so I noticed the uh, the volumetric clouds are there. They kind of give the sky a bit more of, a, I guess, a hazy look that ties in with the sort of enhanced environment sort of conditions. Uh, dynamic weather is present on all versions of the games. Things like rain, mist, fog can just appear naturally. You've also got a HDR support as well, which is new for this latest update. And on top of that, you've got all of the usual refinements you can expect, which you didn't get on PS4 Pro, so you've got high quality shadows, both in terms of shadow resolution and also the way they've been filtered. So shadows look more natural, softer, more diffused in this Xbox One X upgrade. And also shadow draw distances, again, are fleshed out much further than on normal and indeed PS4 Pro. 
giving the whole game a more detailed look as a result. It's definitely uh, quite a big upgrade when you take all of the visual enhancements together. Okay, and apparently there's also 70 players on Xbox One X hosted servers, up against 50 on the usual, plus they allow in split screen mode two players to operate further apart. The distance limit tether has been improved apparently. But let's go back to the visual enhancements here, and yeah, we were talking earlier about performance, let's go into a bit more depth on that. Okay, right, so uh, I tested out a variety of different modes, and I guess we'll kick off with kind of a benchmark of sorts. What's the sort of highest frame rate you're going to get from this game? So in this case, we're looking at the game running with uh, V-Sync turned off, and here we've got the normal mode versus the detail mode. So the normal mode runs at a lower resolution than detail mode. It's quite a blurry presentation, so pixel counting difficult at times, but normal mode up to 1080p, but often it's sub 1080p, so it looks really quite blurry. Whereas detail mode, obviously dynamic resolution, 1080p up to 1440p there. Okay, so V-Sync is off here, which means that this is the game running completely flat out. And I'm noticing that that detail mode, sort of borderline 30 frames per second, sometimes above, but it can also dip beneath the 30 FPS threshold. Yep, yeah, that's right. It seems to be a kind of a 30 FPS game uh, with the detail mode enabled, but normal mode, curiously, does actually get pretty close to 60 FPS for, you know, quite a lot of the time. Outside of stress points, it's uh, it feels a lot smoother to play. Obviously, it's not ideal with all the screen tearing, but you do get a sense that the game feels and looks uh, more responsive in that respect. Okay, so let's move on to the next configuration. What do we got? Okay, so now we're looking at adaptive V-Sync, both normal and detail modes. And I kind of chose this as the sort of main comparison point because it's kind of the best way to play the game uh, overall. Unlike the V-Sync on option, uh, with detail mode you don't get those massive lurches to 20 FPS every time the game can't hit 30. And that kind of makes it uh, a better way to play the game because the uh, drops in performance aren't quite as variable. Okay, so this is with the adaptive sync mode. Now there's some kind of weirdness going on with the normal mode. It seems to want to run at 60 frames per second, but if it can't, it will kind of dip into double buffer behavior. And then you may get tiny bits of screen tear, I guess, if frame times go over 33 milliseconds. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. I think that this mode just isn't operating correctly when you choose the normal option. So it's a far more variable experience like you see here switching between 60 to 30 frames per second you never quite know what you're gonna get depending where you look in the environment so that's kind of not quite so ideal whereas the detail mode I think even though frame rates aren't perfectly smooth they're a bit more consistent I guess I think what's a bit concerning for me here is that the detail mode can't run at a locked 30 frames per second and I mean we're not even looking at the most intense scenes the game has to offer here and we're getting a lot of tearing we're not at 30 frames per second kind of wish that you know there was some element of consistency in this game some mode some sort of collection of options that could actually deliver that experience yeah, it's uh, an interesting one that it seems like uh, as they've pushed out the resolution and the effects that it's causing more performance issues with the adaptive V-Sync detail mode than on PS4 Pro. I remember in that version you didn't have as much tearing and the main issue there was because the frame rate was unlocked you could get, you know, spikes above 30 frames per second whereas here we've got a different problem where it's mostly hitting 30 but again it's not solid there's lots of dips below and there's tearing so it's it's not as consistent as on ps4 pro which is a disappointing i guess yeah i think we should explain why we can't do pro head to heads and it's simply that the environment is so vast and isn't there some sort of random element to your placement yeah, there's a random element to your placement, and also the map is not particularly intuitive, so you have to literally go by eye trying to find out where you are, and uh, yeah, it's not an easy task. Generally though, I think the bottom line is that the detail mode here has a lot more going on on the Xbox One X. Higher resolution, many, many more effects, but performance overall, I mean, I took a look at your video earlier for the uh, Pro version, and performance seems to be worse. Indeed, the experience doesn't feel quite as smooth or as consistent as it does on PS4 Pro. And options are kind of limited in terms of improving on that. You can switch to normal mode but take a massive hit in visual quality. Or I guess you could experiment with some of the V-Sync options which can help remove tearing. But again, 
performance doesn't really stack up all that well in the detail mode up against the Pro. It's never quite as smooth. So you can get rid of the tearing and you do that by turning VSync on and we've got a comparison here of adaptive versus VSync and it's not an easy choice between them because you're basically choosing between what looks like nigh on constant tearing in this bench run versus some very noticeable drops beneath 30 frames per second with VSync on. Exactly, yeah. So for that reason, I wouldn't choose the VSync on option just because, you know, you can run into scenes that are so demanding your performance is going to tail off, you know, below 30 FPS, 20, possibly even lower uh, at points. OK, fair enough. And the final performance metric we've got here. Now, previously we were using the single player component, you know, basically in order to get matched up runs as best as we can. This is online and performance seems to be taking a big dip here compared to those single player metrics. Yeah, I found that like in the past, performance is really variable in Arc. So some scenes like this one here isn't too bad it's kind of similar to the more demanding sort of single player areas but then you can run into situations where performance just tanks you'll get sort of stutters presumably that would be the net code along with some massive frame rate drops uh, under 20 frames per second which i don't recall seeing on the playstation pro version in detail mode you can have a smooth experience one moment, but you go into a different location, different characters, dinosaurs, whatever, and then performance can suddenly become a lot worse. Okay, so this is detail mode adaptive. And yeah, these kind of hitches and stutters, that's definitely what I encountered on the unpatched code, and I just couldn't really bear it. But well, there we go. Arc Survival Evolved, Xbox One X. Kind of curious one, this one. I think they've kind of pushed the boat out graphically too much in the detail mode to the point where it's very difficult to get any kind of consistent experience, and that's really a shame. Yeah, it does kind of make you wonder, though, what exactly is required to get this game running smoothly at 30 frames per second, you know, if, especially if the Xbox One X version, I'm getting sort of 1080p in not that demanding areas, and even with that 6 teraflop GPU, there's still problems in getting it running smoothly. It's kind of uh, <laughs> amazing in that respect that really uh, should this really be happening well you know we've been kind of moaning and complaining about arc survival evolved performance since it was in early access at that point you had to give them the benefit of the doubt but at this point it is a final game it has had an xbox one x upgrade and well things still aren't optimal are they no they still need a lot of work and optimization in order to get at least this game running smoothly okay fair enough well thanks for that dave no worries rich okay well we're going to sign off there please do like and subscribe to support the work we do here at digital foundry but that's all from us for now thanks for watching